Hey guys, what's up? Landon here from Noteworthy Games, and today I'm bringing you guys my Let's Play number 6, Max Level Balloon Annihilation. So here you guys see I got my level 6 balloons, and I'm just going to show you how good they really are. There you go. I'm going to try to upgrade either like my Mortar, maybe my Archer Tower, or if I, do get, if I get some really good raids, maybe my Wizard Tower. Then I might try to get like a Lightning Spell or a Rage Spell, see if I can get something good for these raids but trust me these balloons are insane I'm gonna have some sweet really high resource high level raids that you guys are definitely gonna like okay so let's try to find our first match we got 15 balloons and they are just great they look really cool and they work amazing okay, oh holy this guy is stacked 266 gold 231 elixir that is a nice chunk of cash Let's try to take it. He got his three air defense, that new one with the update. One is just thrown away. That's just easy pickings for me. And the other two are kind of hidden, but just dropped a wall breaker down there so I could try to infiltrate that little sleeve right there and take that archer tower out. Then I'm going to try to do some damage up top and take that other air defense out before letting my balloons do some work. Okay, there you see, I'm just rushing through it. Trying to do a little bit of damage with my barbarians, take a little bit of some damage, because they're kind of like my meat shields. You guys probably know I don't use giants. No, I just don't really like them. I think barbarians are just as good, probably even better than them, and they do a lot more damage. So that's that's why I primarily just use archers, barbarians. Sometimes I use goblins. I bring them around a lot. There you see my clan castle reinforcement troops, all level 5 and 6 archers going out. Just doing some damage, trying to take out that little pocket right there and take out the last air defense. And then my balloons are just going to do some work on this base. There they go. They just look completely badass. Solid black skulls on them. Spikes outside. They just look really sweet. And they just, like, do not die. They take hits so well. And it, with a mass of them, I'm only using about 15, but... This is plenty for almost any base. I can take out some super upgraded bases with just using this simple setup. And I find it actually more effective than dragons. And it's really only... This setup is really only about 4k more elixir than my normal dragon setup. Which isn't that ridiculous at all. And for how much better it does, I really think it's a gain. So I really recommend doing it. If you have enough resources to get level 6 balloons, definitely try them out. And if you guys are at low levels, I'd get level 3 balloons. Once you get level 3, you can do some major damage to low level bases. I've just always been a fan of balloons. There you see, holy, they just tore this guy's base up so fast. Took all that massive amount of golden elixir. And 54 seconds, and I'm going to get that last little builder's hut. Perfect 3 star victory. That was a demolishing of that guy's base. Whew. That was a sweet raid. Smack, smack, and it's gone. There it is. That's a three star. Whew. That's a solid amount of resources. 34 trophies. Nice big chunk. Just gonna get some more troops up, jump them up real fast, and get our next rate. As you guys see, I'm pretty low on trophies right now. I'm at 1600, which I find is like really, really, really easy for me. I'm finding some good bases, but they're really not difficult. And anybody who's attacking me is just gonna get wrecked by my base. There you see, I really, really want that wizard tower. That looks really nice because that one is, I think, two or three levels below my other three wizard towers. So I definitely need to catch that up. So hopefully I can get a few more good raids and I, we can we can upgrade that because that'd be, that'd be really successful if we can get that wizard tower up. There you see those black balloons just taking over my army camps. 210 troops. There they go, coming out. I'm just going to train some. So while I'm attacking, some are training. So I won't have to gem as many next time. I forgot to do that time before, but it doesn't really matter. Just gem up real fast. Again, 15 balloons. This time I'm bringing some goblins around. Hopefully they can take out a few collectors and stuff. Maybe do a little bit of damage. Just request really fast. See if I can get a troop or two before I raid. Oh, boom. Pekka, thanks, Aloha. Got a nice little Pekka. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Let's see how this works. I bet it's going to do some major damage. Okay, here's our next battle. Joppa. He got a nice amount of 
resources and his collectors. As you can see, they're pretty full. But anyways, his air defenses are pretty exposed, so this should be pretty easy. I'm just going to load out some archers, take out the wizard tower, then take out those two air defenses, and let my balloons go do some work. There they go. Going to get some goblins out here, take all those resources. Just use some barbarians and some meat shields for my archers. Take some mortar hits. There are my goblins just going off. Guys, I have a question for you. I'm wondering what you guys most want to see in like the next Clash of Clans update. Maybe is it like a new level 6 troop? Maybe a new king or something? Or maybe a fix up something else? That my, my main three are probably... First, number one, I think they need to fix up the league system. That's just too low, not high enough. It needs to be way revamped, way more resources. Second, I really think they should have another level 6 troop. Maybe... Yeah, I'd, I'd give the goblins a level 6. That'd be pretty awesome. Maybe a level 6 wizard. That would be pretty cool. And I, I'm thinking a king, too. Maybe another king. That would be awesome. Imagine a P.E.K.K.A. king. How cool would that be? Or a goblin king, like, riding like a... I don't know, just something huge, going super fast, wrecking some base up. I think that would be awesome. So make sure to drop in the comments down below what you guys want to see next. Maybe another Dark Elixir troop. Even though I really don't think that's going to be too effective because no one uses the Dark Elixir troops anyways at all, so the more Supercell adds with them, just the more expensive and ridiculous they get. So unless they make it like super overpowered, I doubt anyone's going to use it because it's just going to be so hard to get. But I don't know, they might do something like that. And there you go, another awesome three-star victory, two in a row. It's another high loot battle. Not quite as high as the other one, but still 150 of gold is good enough for me any day. So look at my storage, it's looking pretty full already. Still got my peck on my clan castle. Just gonna gem up some balloons once again. I'm so used to saying dragons, I almost just said it. They just look awesome. Ooh, I like how they're looking. If you guys might be wondering why I got level 6 balloons actually before I got level 6 archers, which I don't know, because most people go barbarians first, then archers second, then maybe giants third. And then probably balloons, if at all, last. I just, I've just always been such a big fan of balloons. I think they're just way overpowered, and I'm, I've always been really good with them. So that's what I'm doing good with right now, and I'm enjoying it. But I am trying to save up to get level six archers because that would be sweet. And I don't really use giants. Okay, so our army camps are full. Let's try to find another sweet battle. Hopefully, we get another victory. Let's try to get some high resources, because I really want that wizard tower. Who? Look at those storages, like, filled to the brim. Three air defenses. They're pretty centralized, so it's going to be a little bit tougher than the other battles, because the air defenses are more protected. But I could not turn this battle down. Look how much gold he has, and they're all in his storages, so I want that so bad. Because that's going to get me dangerously close to that wizard tower, and that's what I really, really want. So I'm just going to knock a wall breaker right there which didn't really matter because my goblins broken anyways then I really wanted some guys to go right in through there like I wanted that wall breaker to go through right toward that gold storage and hopefully break that mid central rectangle open but unfortunately it did not and just died but I think I'll be able to manage and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to use that P.E.K.K.A. yeah there it goes thank you Aloha I definitely needed that for this battle because it was not going too smoothly off the start. I was a little bit worried because I was not thinking I was going to be able to reach that middle air defense. But that P.E.K.K.A. proves that it can go pretty a ham, pretty awesome. Boom, just going through it, cutting that wall up, and it's in. I'm going to drop a rage spell. Haven't dropped too many of those this video. I usually do a ton of rage spells, especially with dragons and everything. One great thing about balloons is even if you don't destroy all the air defenses, they can actually take a hit really, really well. Dragons, if you're only dropping like two dragons, you basically have to destroy every air defense. Or unless you want to buy like nine dragons like all the top players do. But it just costs such a ridiculous amount of elixir. I end up just losing more than I gain most times. That's why I really like this balloon raid because you saw they just trampled that air defense. Going through this guy's base, plenty of time remaining. Those wizards aren't even touching him, barely doing any damage. Look at that. 
And I love that when they fall, they become their own bomb. And now with the new balloon AI, they actually, they actually split up, which makes them so much better. The old AI, before like one of the updates, they all stayed together every single time. So you just never had enough time to three-star or even two-star a base most of the time. But now just they're splitting up like those two big packs, which is so handy. Because they can just, again, tear this guy's base up and they split right there, which is perfect. Only got that one little builder hut, the spell factory, and that gold mine, and we're getting another three-star victory. I think we got it. Unless there's a building, there might be a building in a corner that I missed. Hopefully not, but I think so, because it's only 95%, and there's two buildings remaining. Which means there's probably like a builder hut I missed, and I doubt I'll have time to get it. Let's see. Yeah, 97 it's going to be, uh, there it is, freaking 99, oh, forgot that builder's hut in the corner, always check for those, I always do, but totally forgot about it, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter, I'm not going for trophies, so three star doesn't really matter, you got the first two anyways, my balloons aren't that fast, <laughs> but still another really nice raid, 180, 123, that P.E.K.K.A. came in so handy. Let's see. Okay, we're really, really close to getting that wizard tower. I think one more raid and we'll be able to do it. Yeah, right there. Get that wizard tower to level level 5. That's sweet. Train up 15 more balloons. Oh, actually, I already had 3. So, got 18 balloons this time. A little bit more than I'm used to, but 3 doesn't really make too much of a difference. Just maybe drop a few less barbarians this time. Maybe a few less goblins as well. Because you definitely want to focus on archers. Because archers do primarily take out those air defenses, which is what you're going to want to go for. Yeah, I definitely want that. That's going to be a nice upgrade for my base. So I get it to level 6 and it'll match all my other awesome looking wizard towers. Only one away till max level. That dark blue looks sweet. Just got to jam up a few more troops and hopefully get a solid last raid. Hopefully get a really, really nice one to wrap up and grab that wizard tower upgrade. That'd be super nice. So let's start a battle. Okay, this guy's pretty loaded. His air defenses are very upgraded, so we're definitely going to need to take those out. But he is currently rebuilding one, so that is going to really, really help out. So I'm just going to try to clear out the buildings close to it. Maybe take out an archer tower or two and take out that air defense and let my... Oh, that. Let my balloons, I'm sorry, do some work. There it is up top. Just going to destroy that barbarian king. Take him out. I don't want him bothering my ground troops. Let my goblins take out the little easy buildings with collectors at first. That I just don't want my archers to get bothered with. There's a clan castle. That's a really, really good placement for a clan castle. That's going to do a ton of damage to me. I almost didn't do well in this base just because of those archers. Just Clan castle reinforcement troops do so much. Because they just distract me, take another 20 seconds out of my raid, and make me drop a lot of troops that I did not want to spend like this down here to take out those guys. But, well, I'm pretty sure I still managed. Okay, so then I'm just going to drop almost all the rest of my troops to try to take out this bottom air defense. I'm barely going to get it. I don't even know if I do. Hopefully those barbarians are just meat shields is great. Yeah, they didn't take it out. They're just getting destroyed. That mortar just takes out those archers like a joke. So I'm going to need to drop some balloons. But again, these balloons are super good against air defenses. I was really worried on this side because they're just going to have a while to go to get to that air defense to just get destroyed and take a ton of damage because balloons just go for all these defenses first. So as you can see, there's like three right in front of it. So I'm just going to drop a rage spell, hopefully speed that up. Boom. Hopefully take out that. Come on, come on. There they go. Boom. They're just so powerful. It's like one hit with a rage spell just takes out the air defense, which is ridiculous. And then my balloon's got some time to just destroy this guy's base. All he has left is that Tesla and my balloons can just do some damage. This wasn't as clear domination as the other ones. It still came out pretty good. Let's see how much resources I get. 
take out the Tesla, and my balloons are free to romp around and destroy this guy's base. Sorry, Asian. <laughs> I'm gonna take your money. There, the balloons are just so strong. Just taking all that dark elixir, boo boo. And if you guys are wondering why I haven't been using my king, it's because he's upgrading to level 5 right now. Just got 20,000 dark elixir and just popped him up in the upgrade. So that's gonna be sweet. Okay, this turned out to be pretty good. There you see, the balloons are just so strong. They took every single ounce of this guy's collectors and resources. Just sprawled through this guy's base and just end up owning. It was actually a super solid raid. Didn't think it was going to be good. Didn't even think I was going to win. But turns out, took almost all this guy's resources. And another awesome raid. Okay, let's see how close we are to the wizard tower. Okay, we didn't quite get it, but we're 17 gems away. That's definitely a success. Definitely worthwhile to get that. Boom. That was awesome. Got a ton of gold this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe next time I'll try to get my rage spell up or maybe a pecker or something. Comment down below what you guys think I should upgrade next. Maybe a healer. Maybe my wizard still at max level. So make sure you guys tell me that in the comments down below. My next challenge me is coming out really soon. So you guys are going to definitely like that. I got some insane battles. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. These level 6 balloons are insane. Really hope you guys enjoyed. So if you liked it, please smack that like button. Favorite it. And make sure you're subscribed. Thank you guys so much. See you all later. Bye bye.